YouTube! What is going on, y'all? It is your boy Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, in today's video, I'm showing off one of the least talked about weapons in all of Call of Duty Vanguard, the NZ-41 Assault Rifle. This assault rifle goes completely under the radar, but with this class setup, you are going to be shredding through your opponent with ease. Without further ado, though, let's get straight into it. So here we have my class set up for the NZ-41, so let's get straight into the attachments. First on the muzzle is the MX Silencer, on the barrel is the Orb Weaver 360mm BC, on the optic is the Slate Reflector, on the stock is the Orb Weaver E-Pack, on the underbarrel is the M1941 Handstop, the ammo type is Lengthen, on the rear grip is the Stipple Grip, the proficiency is Brace, and the kit is fully loaded. Right. Good evening, happy Easter, Texas. Happy Easter, Baker. And good evening to you as well, my friend. Appreciate you stopping by the stream tonight. I hope you're having a good one. Uh, White Teddy added you. Who? In the chat. Oh, I didn't get a front record. Maybe I did, actually. Oh, yeah, it's, I did, it looks like. No, I lied. You're welcome, yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Wait, Treyarch was working on Vanguard? Treyarch is the lead developer for Vanguard Zombies. Yeah. Yeah, Treyarch's the lead dev for Vanguard Zombies. So it's like, Sledgehammer did multiplayer and campaign, Treyarch did Zombies, and Raven did Warzone. Not good for what, sorry? Here's the thing is Vanguard had potential to be a top 5 Call of yeah, Duty yeah. of all time. It's just, it was incredible. There were so there were issues that need to be fixed. It's still an incredibly good Call of Duty title if you can look past like some of the bugs and realize that they're going to be fixed. If you can look past some of the issues, you're still going to really enjoy Vanguard. If you're one of those people that like looks for the issues to make to if you look for something to complain about in Vanguard you're gonna find it that's the issue right if you're I someone who just shuts up and plays the fucking game you're gonna enjoy it my biggest issue with Vanguard is um, one was like before like you know well this is like before uh, no this is when I did the uh, play the game does not feel solid on console what console definitely, definitely PS4 well, yeah, it's not. It's because it wasn't built for last gen. It was built for next gen. Yeah. That's the issue. It was built for. Yeah, like I had a PS5 before I switched to PC, so it's like. I never really had the biggest issue where it's like, oh, it doesn't feel well. And one of the, oh, Jesus, Baker, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope they're all right. Eleven pounds. That's fucking, bro. I swear to God, Zoe, anime shows always have the weirdest fucking concepts, and yet somehow turn out to be good. I was watching Sword Art Online. I love Sword Art Online. And then the third series season, and I was just lost. Bruh, it did not make sense to me. I didn't even remember there were hundreds of scissors stable and just absolutely torture people. That's so <laughs> Like, see, but there's gonna be fucking shit ton of people that like that show, even though it has one of the most weird concepts on, on television. Like what? anime has a I don't know, it's some girl who got fucking pinched by a crab and lost over a hundred pounds, so now she only weighs eleven pounds and shit. Like it's such a weird concept, but it pro it's probably a pretty good show. I'm not very seen any sort of monitor that a hundred times, really. Well, there is so much one of the month. Yeah, that's fair, Zoe, but like There's so much shit that like in anime it's like why does that what is that concept but and why is the show so good? Why do they carry the concept so well?
Like, make it make sense. Actually, you know what? It's like the meme where they say make it make sense and somehow the anime makes it make sense. Like, it's like it shouldn't make sense, but somehow the anime makes it make sense. Technically, unleashing your spirits and you having special powers. Yeah, so we, I don't. Anime just like is so odd, but yet, again, like a lot of people enjoy it. I haven't really gotten into anime too much, but like, the animes that I've watched, that, that I even watch like with you guys sometimes, it's like enjoyable. I, I like it, but sometimes the concepts are just lost on me. Like when we watched um, my the hidden dungeon only I can enter, like, or as we called it, horny dungeon. Like what? Like, come on now. You're going to know, that's what I mainly like. Yeah. So you like like Darling and the Franks and shit. Speaking of that, how are you in Mosque? Yeah, no, I know. How how are you in Moscow, Zoe? Yeah, Zoe, I get it. Wait, are you and Moscow like together still, or like what's what's that look like? Oh shit, his phone's broken too. That sucks. As far as I know, yes. Okay. I st I'm still yet to find out Mosky's actual name. So one day you're just gonna have to tell me. Yep. Three hours away at 29. Yeah, that's so rough. You went from literally like a day trip to not even close to a day's worth over a day's worth of driving just to get to where he is one day one day Okay, Zoe. I guess here's the issue, Zoe, is like, I don't really have time to like, get into anime and get into like, really like committing to watching a TV show or shit, Assassination Classroom, just for the sole purpose that like, I'm so busy with work and content that like, the little free time I do have, I usually f spend with my friends. Like, Friday night was the first time I probably, like, had a social gathering with my friends in a month, you know? Like, it's just we, we, we've all been so busy with fucking work and stuff. Yeah, so fucking busy and stuff. I mean, it is what it is, unfortunately, but 63, 63. 